Hey guys, Cole here. Welcome back to another raid video. Going back to the roots with this video today, as I will be showcasing a clan boss team that you guys can build the budget money tier team. And I'll show you everything there is about it. This is a full auto setup that can work on Ultra Nightmare and Nightmare with no changes to the setup. So you can have just the one team available and you can run it, do your Ultra Nightmare and Nightmare. And if you got the good gear, you should be able to do a solid amount of damage. As you can see, I did about 48 million damage. I'll show you guys the runs in a little bit while I'm showing you also the gear. And it also works a Nightmare, as I've said. And you do have to have Manitor. It's called the budget Manitor, guys, because initially when this team was launched, this team um, had a very low requirement in terms of gear, okay? You were using just the one unkillable champion to make it. This was over two years ago when the first team came out of nowhere. And since then, of course, we had many other setups uh, pop up, especially with the Mitha as well, uh, making some even better teams possible. But the Mitha requires very specific key champions to make it work, especially Seeker and sometimes also Deacon Armstrong. With that being said, uh, I'll show you guys the gear and everything. And then I'll show you one of the runs, the Ultra Nightmare run, where uh, you guys can see it in action. I'll also show you the Dead with Jedi website, the calculator. Um, which I, I will link down below as well. And, and you can play around with the with the speed numbers. But make sure, you guys, uh, that you follow it tightly in terms of the speed since it is very easy to break the teams if you go way higher or lower than the speed requirements that I'll be showing. In terms of the speed requirements, guys, as you can see, it is 125 for the slow champion, which will be Geomancer in our case and a different champion when it's magic affinity. I'll explain that in a little bit. 247 for Kavalax, you can play around with this, 246. I believe 245 also works. You see nothing breaks here on the calculator. That's what you have to have in mind. So if you go way down, everything will start breaking. So 245, 246, 247 is what I had actually works. For the DPS, it's, it's gonna give the DPS a chance to be quite fast and help out with damage. 256 with the Maniter, 242 for Painkeeper, and finally, finally Fire the Fat with the 218 to 219. You can play around with that. I'll show you guys the custom AI, and that's pretty much it. This is how it works, guys. As long as Maniter, you see him doing his A3, which is the block damage skill. As long as he does it at the end of, of the AoE 1, right before the boss does his AoE 1, then the team will be fully unkillable, okay? And it becomes fully fully unkillable okay after turn seven when geomancer stops taking two turns so after turn seven geomancer will be taking the stun and he will be protected with that uh, some key key things to consider when building the budget manager since it's it's very very difficult to build the stun target sometimes it's very difficult sometimes it's quite easy i'll explain some easy things to consider to make things easier for you guys to to have in mind when building such teams uh, for yourself or for your friends let's go to geomancer first okay he will be the slow boy we call this champion the slow boy because he is so slow that he only takes two turns throughout the fight okay and, and those two turns is what are so key in terms of making him survive since he doesn't let the unkillable buff uh, go away before the stun uh, no need to understand anything more than that honestly when you're building these champions is just he has to be extremely slow that's why we built him with 125 speed and the health has to be the highest throughout the whole team highest um health that you can do and possibly if you can the lowest defense it's highly recommended lowest defense out of all your team this is especially difficult on defensive based champions so have that in mind and be careful with any pieces of gear that have extremely high rolls in defense percent or defense flat okay um in terms of damage you really you don't need to have the damage it depends on what kind of gear you have available but this the sky is the limit honestly the more you have available the better it is going to be in terms of damage potential but for geomancer especially it's not that you're going to get crazy amounts through his gear but if you have it it helps okay uh, Geomancer's damage mostly comes from his HP burn, his unique passive, and how it works with the deflection of damage. In terms of gearing overall, uh, you're going to be looking for HP percent, okay, likely on the boots and sometimes even on the chest piece, and then 
try to not get any defense percent on any of the pieces okay so especially the shield if you can go with a five star shield that will be even better because of the lower flat defense value on the top and with the rings and all the accessories basically basically you try to avoid defense and defense percent okay so that you can have that lowest defense uh in your team you want to book the book out your your champions of course and then you want to be avoiding two key masteries when you're building these teams especially on the slow champion the slow champion has to avoid two key masteries one of them is the life drinker which will make him heal back uh, when he is low health this is very very important to avoid this mastery that's why i don't have it on so you will have to respec change up your masteries for this and then we have the support route here avoid lower of steel lower of steel will not affect you at all if you don't have a speed set or a perception set on but you don't know what you're going to be doing in the future with that champion you might be moving gear around you might be moving pieces back if you get lower of steel and you depend on it to get your speeds where they should be it's going to make things interesting so have that in mind it's likely going to be breaking your team and causing you a big headache. So avoid the headache. Don't take the mastery and build it with some glyphs. Those one plus one or plus two speeds glyphs really help out. Uh, also, cycle of magic. This is important on other champions. I'll explain it as we go there. Uh, but this is the, the slow champion, right? In terms of Calvalax, the same kind of thing. Uh, we try to get good gear on him, but we don't really care about um his health being so high it shouldn't be extremely low but it should be somewhere there 25k is okay usually and the defense i usually try to get anything above 2.2k for my dps champions anybody really that is not the slow champion um, of course you'll you'll be running accuracy on your debuffers and then you depend if you can or if you want to you book them out or not in terms of masteries, again, you want to be avoiding uh, lower of steel in terms of their speeds. Have that in mind, although it's not too strict. So if you have them on the support route, please avoid lower of steel. Alternatively, you go the defense route, you become actually more tanky with these two uh, masteries specifically. You get the counter attacks also, which are great for Kavalax. And then you can also pick up a life drinker, which helps a little bit with the life steal. If you're having issues with the stun targeting, immortal sets, immortal gear pieces actually help you recover some health for every turn you take. And that's why I have one on Maniter. I found that it was a little bit tricky at the start in terms of the stun targeting. So I gave him one immortal piece and that pretty much solved my issues. He is again, as I explained before, lower health than the slow boy. And then the defense is about 3.2K. You don't really need to have it that high, but I had a defense percent chest which really boosted it way high there so um really lacking on the attack to help up with his damage so more attack would, would really boost his damage but um this is what i could do with uh, the account i'm on right now and you'll see a very similar page as to how calvalax was except for uh, heart of glory that really won't do you much good in unkillable teams but i didn't want to spend the gold to um to respect that maniter uh the good thing though is he has a blessing so that's a lot of damage coming in from from just the blessing it really helps the whole team wrap up their uh, their damage there so um we looked at three champions let's look at the fourth champion it's going to be pain keeper a very very key champion in terms of making everything work in terms of the cooldown that is uh dropping the cooldowns down for all of the team and especially maniter to help him bring up the unkillable uh, in terms of speed, you're looking at 241, 242 to make things work. And again, lower health than the slow boy and try to get Painkeeper to have the highest health among all of the team except for the slow boy. So the second highest health in the team. So the heals that she does are high and uh, you do not, especially do not want her to be taking um, any, you know, damage. Please avoid on painkeeper avoid the defense route and avoid the the counter attack masteries avoid anything that will give her any more turns that she should all right she shouldn't be attacking with her a1 other than when you want it to and that's where fire King comes into play uh phantom touch used to be bugged but it's not bugged anymore so this will help you out in terms of damage i only added this after my runs so i i didn't have the runs with the phantom touch damage so that's gonna be a little bit added on top of those 
And then we look at Farrakhan the Fat. So Farrakhan the Fat is a, is a great addition to this team. Really helps ramp up the damage with the crit rate up, crit damage up. Helps us not have to have 100% crit on everybody. On Farrakhan, uh, especially, you will need to have 100% crit rate. And that helps him uh, boost up his damage since he does not benefit from the buffs that he provides to his team. Okay, himself, he doesn't get them. And I want to run lifesteal sets. And if I could, I would be also running... Uh, blood shield accessories on Farrakhan the Fat. The reason is that if he gets a stun for whatever reason, when there's a bad affinity against him, it's going to break the run. So, and, and also kill him. So, have that in mind when uh, building your Farrakhan. If you have the lifesteal, use it. If not, use immortal gear, but at least maybe two sets of those. I haven't tried with immortal gear, but I usually just build it with lifesteal just to keep my mind at ease and his damage is going to be very low when you build him with the lifesteal because usually not everybody has good lifesteal gear pieces and as you can see i avoided all those key masteries that i mentioned before like those are the ones that are breaking the teams right so it's it's really important you're you're saving yourself from multiple headaches okay when doing this As I said, you're, you're going to be saving yourself from, from multiple headaches uh, if you avoid those, those masteries. And then finally, um, as budget uh, monetary killable teams work, the stun target will be the, the Geomancer, right? So against magic affinity bosses, and that's one of my runs also that I did, I had to build a alternate, alternate slow boy, a slow girl this time around, a slow rat, all right? And that was Fane. Built her very similarly to how you guys saw Maniter, so avoided the key Life Drinker and Lore of Steel. 125 speed, lowest defense, highest amount of health. Although against magic, this doesn't play so much of a role. It still plays a good role to have a good amount of health. It doesn't play so much of a role since the stun will pretty much be guaranteed to be going onto um onto the spirit affinity champions and especially for this team that i've built today i had three spirit affinity champions um within there so finally let's go see the custom ai and then we'll have a look at the run and close of the video thank you all guys uh for subscribing and watching the channel so far i really appreciate you let's have a look at the custom ai let's have a look at the custom ai presets we're not actually in the clown balls page right now because i already did the runs i have no keys available but let's carry on. You'll have two, two specific teams available, built up, and ready to go. The one will be Fane against Magic because Magic is uh, weak against Geomancer. So you, Geomancer will never be taking the stun. It's almost, it's not impossible, but you don't want to be trying to build a team that uh, can force the Force Affinity champion to be taking the stun against magic. It's, it's very, very difficult to do. I could explain it, but there's no reason to. Just build a spirit slow boy for that specific day that it's magic affinity against you have that in mind so for uh clown balls let's have a look at the custom ai the presets are exactly the same for both nightmare and ultra nightmare here it is so the 125 for geomancer as i explained before i disabled the a2 you don't need to disable it it's up to you if the attack up that you'll be stealing from the boss is going to be helping you um it doesn't really affect me, but I want the boss to be actually attacking me for a good amount of damage. That's going to be helping me, um, you know, drop really low so that when Painkeeper heals, everybody will be uh, at the health values that I want to. Farrakhan starts out with the A1 priority, the A2, and second priority on the A3, all right? Maniter priority on the A3, start out with the A2, have it on the second priority. Culvalax. Uh, well, is the DPS, it doesn't really matter. You can have it as you want to, but I chose to disable the A3. The reason for this is that if he doesn't have the A2 available, might as well hit with the A1 since this has a chance to increase the duration of Poison Debuff, which can be huge, huge for damage potential, especially in the heavy poison team with Farrakhan's poisons, Kalvalax poisons, all right? And then finally, Painkeeper, open up with the A1, A3, uh, priority number one, A2, priority number two. That is the setup for both Nightmare and uh, Ultra Nightmare. Very, very easy to, to just build build out this team, I would say, in terms of how 
Um, not in terms of the speed, but overall, just how the setup is, it's going to be a full auto setup. And then you just build up on the team and give them more and more damage. You're going to see your damage overall skyrocket. It's an easy two key team for ultra nightmare. I would say, especially with Geomancer in the, in the, in the squad, there's many more champions that are better than Calvalax if you have them available. And then for when you're fighting magic, if you can, don't go in there with three spirit champions as I have right now. Um, build more champions. But if you don't have them available, just use the, 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 the team that you have and, uh, and go with it and slowly work on maybe one uh, off affinity kind of damage dealer, right? In, instead of Colvalax, let's say, have a magic champion. If you have, say, Draco Morph, it's going to be huge, huge for damage potential. All right, that, it's, that is it, guys enjoy the rest of the video it will be the run on ultra nightmare i'll have it on a 2x speed for you guys to enjoy the cinematic experience that is fighting the clan boss <laughs> that's it for today guys thank you all for watching subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all in the next video see ya